everyone how there hope you guys are doing great hope you guys are having a great time how there hope you guys are safe especially this is lady kes so by you jim and you are welcome to kes fashion design tutorial class today we are making a slit front gown and we are using five meters of fabric because the gun is going to be gathered from the under bus measurement downward so it's a gather gun then with side slits at the front then also the sleeve is going to be a balloon sleeve it's like the one we made like a three weeks ago it's a long gun so but this one the sleeve is going to be attached with a blast together the sleeve is not going to be different from the main blast and we are using a princess cut we are going to have princess cut then sweet at neck that is it and we are going to be working with the measurement of the boss 41 then the under boss is 36 but that is what we need we don't need waist measurement because the gun is going to be gathered from the under boss measurement then we don't need the hip measurement then the length the length of the gun is going to be 60 meters of length and we are working with sweetheart neck so please if you are new to this platform consider me a subscribe share click on notification bell for more notification for more updates so that whenever i upload you will be notified then the tools we need for this tutorial we need the scissors we need the sh shock then we need the straight ruler then we need the tape we need tape and we need needle and thread because that is what we are going to use to gather the, the down parts we need needle and thread i've already threaded it you can make use of your sewing machine to do the gather but in mine i prefer using needle and thread so that is that so let's start So we are going to start from the damp part which is the gather skirt and this is it we are working with 60 meters of length the full gun length is 60 meters so when we minus uh, 14 inches from it then it will become uh, 40 45 45 or 46 upward so and this is it i've already folded it into two so and how i have this um, a amount of fabric that I have folded. The waist we are working with is I I use the waist measurement to fold it. I uh, I plus waist measurement that is steering, which is uh, if waist measurement is forty. I know I told you that we are not working with waist measurement, but that is what I use to fold this very fabric. The waist measurement is 40, so I plus it times uh, 3. 40 times 3 is uh, 120. Then I had half inches because the person I'm making the gun for said the gun should be very, uh, uh, as in the gather should be much. So I plus the waist measurement times uh, plus, plus 3 and it landed in 120. Then I had half of 15 to be, which is 20 inches. 40 then I added it then to become what 140 so the fabric that is here is 140 and then we have a 47 inches of length then the width is 140 so that is it there is no how we are going to sew it we are going to sew it now with eh? we are sewing it with needle and thread and we are starting it from this very section after sewing it after using needle and thread to do that, then later I will cut the, the main side, which is the upper blouse. That is it. So, I've already placed my, my needle, my thread on the needle. So, you take it like this. Make sure there is extra inches for you to use it to fold it later. Okay. 
which row is zero equal as in straight line So this is it. You sew, then you draw, you sew, you draw, you sew, you draw. Then become, before you, uh, you finish sewing it. So as you can see, I'm done gathering it with the needle and the thread. So what you do is to gather it to the underboss measurement, not the waist measurement, underboss measurement because this uh, that is going to start from underboss measurement so you gather it and the other boss measurement is is 36 it's 36 of length so you, you measure it half of it will be 18 and this is it here is 18 here is 18, 18 plus 18 is 36 Half of it will be what 18. So you gather it to, to 18. Make sure it's gathered to that very amount. Arrange it properly. Arrange it properly. is well arranged okay measure it again this is 20 so it's okay like that because we're going to use one inches to to slant it slant it at the front so this is it the same way it is want to attach it to the normal blast make sure you arrange it also so we are done with the we are done with the gather so we are making the, the main blast here and we see so we are cutting 15 15 length of air under bus measurement supposed to be 14 but one inches for sewing allowance. We are cutting to one for the back, one for the front. Okay. So we are working with the measurement of air. That is N6. Left of the axis, then two inch, three inches deep. That is where our curve is going to start from. There is a sweet tap neck, so you curve your hand like this. This is disturbing. Measurement is here. Eh? It's nine. So this is nine. Because we are manual since the off shoulder. Manual five inches from it. Then just two inches. From shoulder to cross system plus one inches in allowance is eleven. I'm already working with the front side. The front is supposed to be so. Let's work with the back side. Okay. 
Sorry guys. I'm going to work the back side. It's a case of the shock mark. So this is it from shoulder we are minus five inches from it minus five inches from it so from shoulder to arm bone measurement is nine and this is nine then from shoulder to bust point the same plus half is saying that our ten and half then the other bus is 14 plus one is saying that our is 15 this is it so we are working with the six inches of neck width plus two inches then we are working with a uh, five uh, uh, the boss we are working with is boss is 14 one that is nine and a half inches Plus is for nine and a half inches plus one inches in otherwise it will be what ten and a half inches we are working with 41 inches of boss measurement which is a uh, 10 points inches some inches so it's like this 10 inches this is the 10 inches the maximum of 10 inches the way we add one inches to it become what 11 and a half inches and this is it then the other box is 36 half of it will be 18 the half of it 18 is 9 9 plus 1 inches in allowance then then plus maybe half another like let's assume it 2 inches in allowance is 11 then we are going to add 1 inches again to this box point making it what it 12 so this is it and we are working with sweet up next so the depth will be two inches so you will make your curve like this with the sweet up neck And it this is the humble see make a little curve from the humble make sure from that place to this very part this is the humble now what to do now we cut them out so that we'll see it must be what want to cut to cut the back I'm going to add zip to the back so make sure you create a space create a space for it like one inches difference like one inches difference let's start with the hand both side To the normal, normal on round, on round neck to the back, not sweater but on round neck. Then we cut it out.
show you zip off and after that you slant the back you slant the back I want to use the main fabric to cut to cut the lining because it's going to have a lining because the fabric is not a stretchy one to cut the lining so I'm done I'm done cutting the lining I cut that is the front is two then the back is also what also to making it four so instead of me to cut another extra fabric for the lining so I just decided to use the main fabric for the lining so that's that we are moving now to the to the uh, sleeve the balloon sleeve I'm working with the pointing length of measurement for the balloon so I have folded it is 20 length of the balloon sleeve then the part we are going to be working with supposed to be C so I'm putting another C because uh, we are going to gather the sleeve also we are going to gather the sleeve also so let's make it make it another season add another C here to here is C's. then add another C to become what 12 and this is it is twelve. Is a balloon sleeve. Let's go. The damp part. Let's make use of sixteen inches for the damp part. The damp part will be more. Damp part will be more, more, more puffy than the upper part. Here to here is twelve. Then minus like uh, seven inches from here. Take it to this part. I take, let me explain again. I take 16 inches from the damp part, then 12 inches at the top, then the humble, I took 7 inches, and this is it. Are you seeing it? So, you cut. I want to gather this edge, supposed to be six, but I make, I make it, I make it uh, sweep, because of the gather I want to add to this, as a balloon sleeve. I decided to cut it in a, in a circle method, you can decide to cut it in a, a normal rectangle method also. I decided just to cut this one with a normal rectangle shape. So this one should be on it. I think that it may not be enough. Thank you. 
se realice o seu verdadeiro propósito de vida. Por outro lado, também, o Messias. Oh, I put that in the field. The first sleep will cost you use it all. Cut the other one. And this is it. Exactly what you cut. That is what you are going to use to cut the other sleep. So, To do you notch notch the middle part like this this is the notching notch it put it aside then we are cutting to turn the sleeve the sleeve uh, the sleeve side as in the arm this uh, shoulder part to turn it inside where the gather is going to take place from so I'm going to gather this upper part to that very this part I'm cutting now I'm cutting Okay, two inches exactly 12 inches also here the upper part is a is 12 this is it this is it Cutting two. Well, let's do that one first. Cut again. Okay. This is it. You can decide to gather it inside there. You can decide to use it. A elastic band for it to gather the top of it of the balloon. So, so that is that we are done with the cutting. In 10 minutes, everything is ready. This is the gather gun done. This is a sleeve. Then, this is what I'm going to use it to gather the, the uh, uh, which is the sleeve shoulder side. Then, this is the main blouse. So please, if you like what I did, kindly subscribe, share, click on the notification bell for more notification. Then if you are my host subscriber, thanks for always stopping by. God will richly bless you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please consider me a subscribe, share my platform. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So, 10 minutes from now, everything here is ready. God bless you. Have a pleasant days ahead of you.